start with breaking news this morning. Crews battling a big fire in Lynn. You can see those flames shooting through the roof of a triple decker. Nicole Jacobs is live on the scene with the very latest. We just got an update from the district chief here, and he says there's nothing really new to report other than that the fire is under control. They continue to fight some hot spots here, as you can see, firefighters there at the third floor. I do want to get you right to some video where you can see the flames really shooting from the roof of this building when firefighters arrived. I can also tell you there were eight people inside this building. The fire chief just told me six men and two women Fortunately, all of them were able to make it out safely, which is certainly good news there. We did speak with one gentleman who says the first thing he did was gather his daughter's Christmas gifts and get out of the house. Here's what else he had to say. It took about 45 minutes after we were outside for there to be any flames. So it seemed like maybe it was just something, you know, the alarm got tripped. You kind of scramble in the moment and Luckily, there was no flames at the time overall, so I don't think it, all of us in the house really panicked so much. And taking a live look here at Chestnut Street, you can see firefighters continue to uh, man the scene. At this point, we're told mutual aid is really kind of going back and forth with this because while weather was not a direct factor in fighting this fire, you can see the roadway is starting to ice. And the fire chief says that creates a dangerous situation, of course, a slippery service for all of these guys. There are firefighters from Lynn, Malden, Salem, as well as Swampscott. Again, the fire is is under control at this point. All eight people who were inside did make it out safely. We're told this is a sober living home. And again, everyone is safe this morning. That's the very latest from Lynn. Nicole Jacobs, WBZ This Morning.